Hello, everybody. I am so glad to be back. I have missed you all so much. So I hope you're here and I hope you are ready for some fun. And I have so many fall and Halloween crafts that I cannot wait to share. Um, I My calendar has never been so busy. Um, so when I um, get my schedule going, I will put it right here on my Facebook page. So Let's make sure that I am on live. Let's scroll down here. Yes, we are live. Okay, now let's find it. There we go. Live. All right. Excuse the mess in the back. If anybody's really good at um, putting IKEA furniture together and you're close by, you could come and help put my drawers together. Okay. So here we go. Hi, Willow. I have missed you. I've missed everyone. Well, I'm going to switch to this view and I have my craft paper down. And do you remember when we did uh, the scarecrow on one of those pizza pans? Well, guys, I wish you could get pizza pans. I hope you can get pizza pans. I have tried to order them from Dollar Tree and alas, Hi, Sandy. Welcome. Um, I, they keep getting back ordered and then they cancel my order because they can't get them because we're all making things with Dollar Tree pizza pans. See, just a Dollar Tree pizza pan. Okay, that's all it is. So um, I painted this one white with a matte white paint. Fusion all-in-one matte paint. Matte white paint. I have missed you too. Oh, I wish you were closer too because I started that before I went on vacation and I don't even have one set of drawers. It's just drawers for my bins. Um, I want to share with you because this is just kind of funny here. Uh, what happened? Check out <laughs> this paint. This, does it even say? Canyon black, matte white. But see, this can is mostly white. This can is mostly black. And I kept painting the wrong color and having to repaint. Yes, this had black on it somewhere. So paint your pizza pan white, okay? Hello, sun catcher. Hello, hello. Okay, what I am going to do is uh, paint a face on here with my acrylic markers and this is one that I really like this um, I hey look at this I figured this I'm taking a course on video because I'm really good at Facebook video but I'm not so good at the actual video so what I am doing is I'm learning and I learned to put my phone right here by me like it's over my shoulder so, I'm going to cheat and put my finished product, product right, project right over here so I can see it. So, you could also try um, Sharpies, black Sharpies, but I really like these Penguin acrylic paint pens, okay? Now, um, oh, just so you know, this is a 12, it, it's called a 12-inch pizza pan, but... Um, it's 13 inches from here to here. So there's a half inch rim on here. Okay. Like I said, it was $1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give our pizza pan a big smile. What do you think? You like that? Okay. Now I want to take a finer. This is another brand that people rave about. Pasca. Um, and I'm going to give him some little, oh, I'm not happy with how fine that line is. I think I'll go back. wonder about this one, if this is in between. See, I have several brands of these because, oh, I always, always, always have some paper nearby because sometimes, uh, these need to be dabbed off. They get like, the tip gets too, too full and... You have to shake these, you know, to get them going. Don't ever shake them with the lid off or you'll have acrylic paint everywhere. Okay, 
So I am going to, and you let me know. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Gail. How are you? Gail, had, did you see my most recent? Oh, hi, Roxy. Did you see those um, pretty tables I did? I was so happy with the apple table and the oak table. So I want you to tell me if you figure out what it is that I'm doing, okay? It's not a scarecrow. I am so happy to be back, although I had a wonderful vacation with uh, my, my whole family, both of my kids, my grandkids. We rented a house, so we were socially distant. Um, but uh, then we had to go drive up to Ohio, check in on our condo, and um, attend a very small 23 guests, socially distant wedding. All right. Oh, thanks, Gail. I loved them too. Okay, we have a smile now so that I don't rub my hand in this, okay? And you guys cannot, you're right, Sun Catcher, it is a Jack Skellington. You cannot go wrong. I'm just telling you, you cannot go wrong with this because you can get out your white spray paint. Oh, thank you, Willow. Um, only took me eight years to start doing a newsletter because if you mess this up, take it outside, spray it white, a couple coats, and you're like done, okay? So we're now, if you look at a lot of Jack Skellingtons, he has kind of mean eyes, but you know, I'm not kind of a mean person. I'm kind of a happy person. So I give him the big round eyes, okay? So we're just gonna do that and see, it doesn't matter if it's not exactly right. And this one is going to go, I probably should have, yeah, yeah, I need to turn it around to a little straighter down here. So do you guys make decorations for Halloween? Yes, Suncatcher, you were right. I would love to hear um, if you want more fall stuff or if you would like more um, Halloween. Um, I do both. And we're gonna give him a couple little nostrils right here because you know the skeletons always have those holes and what are you thinking about halloween this year i'm not thinking that my granddaughters are going trick-or-treating i mean that's what let's spread the virus by going door to door right so all we're going to do is color this in so yeah let me know I have a really cute, um, and it's going to take a little longer than this, so I'll be with you a little longer, project coming up, um, a, a fall craft project. I'm not going to overload with Halloween because I know some people just are not into Halloween. But I'm hoping to get on maybe on Thursday or maybe on Friday, you guys. I have signed up for so many courses that have Zooms because I want to bring you a better experience. So, um, yeah. You'd have to use construction paper. No, I'm telling you, Suncrutcher, Halloween, Sonia, okay. Um, I'm telling you, you can do this. Look how easy that was. And I'm not a great artist, but I'm getting better. Now, I painted one of these, the blue that, Ugh. Let me get it out. We scratch easily, so I have to give this one another coat. I painted it this blue, and I want to know, do you think that I should try and do a Sally that goes with Jack? Do you guys know the the Nightmare Before Christmas? Um, I never know if it's a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. I know out at Disneyland, they used to, not just not this year, because they're still not open. They used to... Um, do an overlay over the Haunted Mansion and it was a whole nightmare before Christmas and I think it went up for Halloween and stayed until you're going to have a little party oh that's a great idea and outdoors you know what that is something that my granddaughters could do um, they have a few little friends and yeah if it was outdoors and maybe you could incorporate your mask into your mask. 
um, they're, they're all still up in Maryland. They're still doing uh, virtual, all virtual. And are you ready for Christmas ideas yet? You know what I did for the blog? I haven't posted them yet, but I went through the other day and filled, uh, found the coolest stuff for like under $20. I mean, you would think, oh, $20, you can't get anything decent. Okay, now, I'm going to finish this one eye, and then I'm going to um, show you what the next step is, because otherwise it's just a pizza pan with Jack's face on it. Um, but I think this eye is not as big as I would like. If you have not tried, has anybody tried? Oh, you know what? Um... I have seen that here in um, Willow. I've seen that here in Celebration where people have a balcony right over their front door. They've done that for years. But I'm not think I'm thinking if would you want your kids out um, anyway. So has anybody used, oh, thank you, Sonia. Has anyone used these acrylic paint pens and what do you think of them? Okay, see, I think his eye is supposed to be bigger. See? No construction paper needed, although you could, but I'll bet you could draw the fa the smile. But that is a, another idea, is construction paper, or you know what else you could use? You could use, and his eyes are like a little broader at the bottom, so we're going to make this just a little broader. Um, you could use that black foam, that, that craft foam. So... But, I mean, this is a really, real, I mean, if you had the markers, how expensive is this? This is now a little white spray paint. So, we're going to give him a couple of eyes just like that. We'll turn him around so you can see him right side up, okay? And I noticed that I scratched him one place right there, and I'm just going to take a little white acrylic pen and touch that up later. But, what I did is I painted a bunch of clothespins, black and white. And all I'm going to do is take three black right here. Oh, I asked, um, well, Suncatcher, you know, I worry about that. I worry about that anyway. Um, what do you love, Kimberly? I missed it. Um, the shoots for the... Hello, Yvette. I missed you. Hi, Christine. Yes, Deanna, you caught me live. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, I'm hoping to, I'm planning on going live with a cute fall project yet this week. And um, I will put it on my page, so check back. And you saw Willow had seen a picture of the family, so if you subscribe to the blog, you will get my newsletter okay and the newsletter yes only took me eight years we'll see we're just gonna do three and three as a blogger it only took me eight years i know others are so much more efficient than i am to get a newsletter out you know what it was it was the technology of using my mail service and um voila so this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna add these all the way around Oh, my comments aren't loading. Uh, what is this? A platter? Oh, Marilyn, it's a dollar store. Look, it's a dollar store pizza pan. One dollar. Oh, the paint pins. Yes, I love them too. So, and I see his eye needs a little more work. But I want to show you how he's going to look when he's all done. You guys, how cute is this? I need to pull this back, don't I? Yep. There we go. So Jack Skellington is all done. And you just turn him over right here. Use a pipe cleaner. Make a little loop. Hot glue it on. Or you can go ahead and put a command hook here and... Um, then use a little rope or wire or chenille stem and make a, to hang him up. So there you go. So, um, oh yeah, this is, this is just a decorative piece. Oh, thanks Yvette. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, it's not me. <laughs> no, it's not. Hi, Cloetta. It is not made for eating on. It's made to hang on your wall. So there is Jack. And you guys think that I should try and make a Sally. If you do, you let me know and maybe we'll do that one day. But later this week, it's going to be a, let me take that off of Jack's face. It's gonna be a um, fall craft for those that aren't into Halloween. Thanks, Willow. Yes, this is something you could, yes, Suncatcher, this is, thanks, Candy, something that the kids can make. And again, if they mess up and aren't happy with it, you know, get several of these. Like I said, I've tried to order um, a whole case of 24 of them because I have so many ideas. Um, and, you know, sometimes I make some, like if you saw the wreath I posted on the blog this week, I'm sure it was an expensive wreath. I was using stuff I had left. But um, but it was really lush, too. It looks looks expensive. But sometimes I like to do, you know, dollar store stuff, too, that everybody can do. And, oh, Christine, okay, I will try and do a Sally. Um, I got to try her and see how she works and see if I can get another pizza pan um, to try it out. I, I already have an idea for what I want to do with the clothespins. Yes, Willow, now you need to find the... And let me know if you can find them at the Dollar Tree because there are so many people making things like this and then they're making Christmas things too. And do you want... Would you like those 20 ideas... Or 20, it's, uh, it's more like 50 ideas for Christmas gifts under $20? Let me know and I will send you the link to that. Um, and thank you guys. I'm so let's, let's go back to here. I am so glad to be back with you again. This was so much fun. I know everybody's leaving because our project's done, but Jack and I are so happy to see you again and check, uh, keep checking back on Facebook. We will be live. Thank you, Deanna. Uh, we will be live again, hopefully this week, and I will put it right there on the calendar. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great week and be fabulous, okay? Bye-bye.